are you overpaying for cloud storage in 2025? There are a ton of options out there, but which is best? In this video, I compare Dropbox, Google One, iCloud Plus, Box, and more to reveal which one is truly the best value in 2025. I will list storage capacity, annual pricing, cost per terabyte, and key features. Let's jump in. So I'm going to start off with Box. Box only offers 100 gigabytes in their personal plan. You're paying 120 USD per year, about 160 Canadian for just 100 gigabytes. That's a whopping $1,200 per terabyte if they even offered that much. It's solo only and you get e-signatures, 10 file versions and a five gigabyte upload limit. It's secure, but not even close to worth it. Next on the list is Proton Drive. Proton doesn't offer a single terabyte plan. The closest you get is Proton Duo, where two users share one terabyte, or roughly $180 per year. That's around $240 Canadian. That's $180 per terabyte. This plan includes encrypted storage, Proton Mail, VPN, and privacy first tools. Great if you love Proton, but for general storage, it's quite pricey. Next up is Microsoft 365 Personal. This one is bundled. You get one terabyte of OneDrive, Office apps, and AI tools like Copilot all for $100 or 115 Canadian per year. It's solo only, and the cost per terabyte is exactly what you pay $100 per year. If you need Office apps and cloud storage, it's a strong choice, but if you're just after raw storage, there are cheaper options. Next up, it's Apple iCloud Plus, the two terabyte plan. This is for Apple fans. You get two terabytes for $9.99 a month. That's about $120 USD per year or $155.88 Canadian. Uh, the good thing with this plan is it's shareable with up to five family members. The cost per terabyte is around $60 USD per year. You also get privacy tools like Hide My Email and Private Relay. It's a great value if you're deep in the Apple ecosystem. So the next player is Dropbox Plus, the two terabyte plan. This plan gives you two terabytes for roughly $120 USD or about 160 Canadian per year. That's around $60 USD per terabyte per year. It's solo only and includes features like Vault, file recovery, PDF tools, and file transfers up to 50 gigabytes. It's a trusted name, but doesn't include apps or AI tools. The next one is called Mega. This Mega Pro plan is two terabytes. Mega offers privacy-focused encrypted storage with a two terabyte plan for about 150 USD or 150 to 155 Canadian per year. You also get a two terabyte monthly transfer quota for sharing. The cost per terabyte is roughly $57.50 USD per year. It's solo only, no family plan, but offers generous free storage and scales well for power users. Another lesser known one is pCloud. This pCloud Premium Plus plan, which is a two terabyte plan, gives you two terabytes for $100 USD per year or around 130 to 135 Canadian. That's $50 per terabyte per year. It includes media playback, 30 day file history and optional encryption. The zero knowledge encryption costs extra. It also offers a lifetime plan if you hate subscriptions. This is the only one that has a lifetime plan that I've seen. So take that into consideration when choosing. It's a solo plan only, but it has solid long-term value. Next is a heavy hitter called Google One. The Google One Premium 2 terabyte plan gives you two terabytes shared with up to five others for 100 USD or 140 CAD per year. That's $50 per terabyte per year. It's tightly integrated with Gmail, Drive, Photos, and includes perks like VPN, AI tools, and even YouTube Premium if bundled. This is great if your whole household lives in the Google ecosystem. Sync.com's Pro Solo Basic offers two terabytes of end-to-end -end encryption storage for $96 per year. They charge the same in both currencies. That's $48 per terabyte per year. It's solo only and includes unlimited devices, no transfer limits, and 180-day file recovery, and it's highly secure. Next on the list is iDrive. The iDrive Personal Plan. This one's for data hoarders. You get five terabytes of cloud backup for $99.50 USD or around 135 Canadian per year at almost $20 USD per terabyte per year. It's solo only, but you can back up unlimited devices. Not ideal for collaboration, but unbeatable for backup, recovery, and archiving. 
If you're looking purely at storage costs, iDrive wins by a landslide. If you want cloud storage with Office apps and AI, Microsoft 365 Personal is your best bet. If you want to share with family, go with Google One or iCloud Plus. Need privacy? Sync.com and pCloud have your back. And if you're still paying for Box's 100GB plan, it's time for an upgrade. Thank you.